to the Crash Down Cafe. Today's specials are the Will Smith, the Sigourney Weaver, the Green Martian Milkshake, and the Blood of Alien Smoothie. What can I get for you? Hey guys, it's Kristen, and welcome to a brand new episode of Dirty Pop, where DIY and pop culture collide. One of my absolute favorite shows this year was Roswell, New Mexico. I loved the story and the message and the fact that we were following a strong Latina lead in Liz Orteco. So this year I decided for Halloween that I wanted to create my own Liz Orteco slash Liz Parker crash down cafe waitress uniform. It was a lot of fun to make. This is kind of a combination of both characters, if you will, because I really liked the alien apron. I thought that was really fun, so I really wanted to do that. It took about maybe two, two and a half hours to make, and I feel really proud of it. I think it came out pretty good for just, you know, me and my glue gun. So I wanted to share a tutorial of what I did and how I created this look, and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, let's do this. Here are the supplies you'll need for this project. I'm also going to leave a list in the description box below in case you want to check that out as well. We've got a glue gun which is very necessary as this is going to be a quick no-sew project. We've also got scissors, sharpies, Liz's little alien antennas, metallic looking fabric, assorted colored construction paper, this uniform that I bought as the base of the costume, cardboard to make the crown that's attached to the antenna, and a menu booklet, as well as a printed out cover of the Crash Down Cafe menu. So first things first, I'm gonna put together the Crash Down Cafe menu. Since my paper isn't as big as the menu packet, I filled it in with construction paper. I printed out a Crash Down Cafe cover I found online, but if you want a more authentic feel, there are shops online where you can order a real replica menu. Next up, my favorite part, let's make Liz's apron. I have this really cool metallic looking fabric that's actually really easy to work with. I eyeballed this, but feel free to use a sharpie to create a guide, and then cut out the shape of the apron. It's sort of like a shield shape. So we're gonna cut little lines into each corner, and then flip your apron over to the white side, and we're gonna hot glue gun an edge. I think this makes it look a lot more polished, and no worries if it's not perfect on either side, because we're gonna be covering that up as well. Next step is to grab a longer piece of fabric. Off screen I measured it against myself to make sure I could tie it around my waist. Then I cut straight across to create the belt of the apron. We're going to be folding them in on themselves, so first you grab one side, fold it in, and start gluing. Once you go through the entire length of the fabric, we're going to fold the other side over and glue that down to create more of a clean line. You can clean up any leftover fabric with scissors. Then I figured out where the middle of the belt was and lined it up with the middle of the lower part of the apron. It's already starting to come together. Now we need some alien eyes. I took black instruction paper to cut out the eyes and hot glued them to the apron. How good does that look? All that with some scissors and a glue gun. Now it's time to make a mini alien for the top of Liz's waitress uniform. I grabbed a smaller piece of metallic fabric and cut it into the shape of an alien head. Next, I cut smaller versions of the alien eyes, again out of my black construction paper. I also grabbed a white piece of paper and my sharpie to make Liz's name tag. Next up, it's time for the little crown that's a part of the alien antennas. I grabbed a piece of cardboard from an old box, drew the outline of the crown, and cut it out. Then I grabbed another piece of our metallic fabric and traced the crown a bit larger. Cut it out and add some cuts on the corners to help make smooth edges. Now it's time to grab your trusty glue gun and get to gluing. It's helpful here to pull on the edges a bit to help smooth it out. Then I use my glue gun to attach the crown onto my little alien antennas. Next up we're going to get to work on our uniform. Off screen I measured it to where I wanted it to hit, and then I cut off the rest. Then we're doing the same method of gluing an edge, just to make it look a bit more polished. The top also was a little bit too large for me, so I cut off the sleeves just to make it fit a little bit better. Next up I'm adding my little metallic lapel. 
I traced the shape I wanted on my metallic fabric and then I cut it out. And then an easy way to get a matching opposite side is to flip the original version over to the white side and then cut along that line to make your second lapel. I started with the inside so that it would lay exactly how I wanted it to. And then I folded it over and started gluing it down as I shaped it how I wanted it. I will say be careful during this part because the hot glue is pretty hot. And now I'm adding my final touches, gluing down our little alien face and our Liz name tag. There you go! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that maybe you end up using this tutorial for yourself. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. And drop it in the comments and let me know your favorite part of this tutorial. I personally really loved making the alien apron. I thought that was so cool. I feel like once I made that, it really started bringing the costume together. Alright guys, I'll catch you in my next video. See ya!